Good morning, good afternoon actually. Um, all right, we are gonna try to do this with a screen recording and microphone. I found out that you can do that. Um, that app was being unreliable, so we're gonna try that. Um, see how it goes. Um, again, excuse my buttery fingers. Um, so we have this video here from Sunday. Let's take a look at it. So for the eight, I have two videos, one that it's more um, on the side and there's one up front that it will be helpful to check the plate work. So here I'm gonna try um, to focus a little bit on, um, sorry, my wife was talking <laughs> in the background. Um, we're gonna focus a little bit on the boat flow and ratio. So let's take a look at it frame by frame from the beginning. Let's go ahead to the finish. Right here. So Gary, I think that here you can see a little bit how straight up you are. Um, we would like to see a little bit more laid back. Um, still engaging the core. So here where the brand is, is a good example. Where Greg is, is a good example. Um, see, I were a little bit like sitting up a little bit too much. Um, we're not going to focus on the feather, on the blade work, but what we're going to focus on is a little bit um, on our outside hands. So I'm going to take a look at here at David. So David, I can see here like, you know, you let the oar a little bit lo um, loose here, like the outside hand a little bit loose. So don't forget to kind of like hold it. Remember the drill that we did that once we drive, we want the outside hand and the inward out so we still want to grab the outside a little bit and we're gonna call this um giving gas to the motorcycle because i don't know if you can see here you're pretty good david and then you're not the only one we're gonna go over here so see how you kind of like turn your wrist as you go so the wrist here it's bended and then it looks like you're feathering with both hands um so here a good example um Brent and Greg are pretty good at this. Um, the only thing that's probably a little bit more top down from both of you, Brent, mostly we're lacking a little bit of top down. But see how like he will go, Brent will go to the finish with the breath, with the wrist quite flat. Let me zoom out a little bit so the quality is better. With the wrist quite flat and then kind of just feather with the inboard. See how like there's no movement at all. With that outside hand um greg you can see it here a little bit too so you go like this and see here like straight flat i cannot see it really well so yeah david a little bit of turning the gas let's see a run run not too bad finishing and then tapping down let's see gary Yeah, I can see that Gary is giving gas to the motorcycle. See how that arm is bending. Let's take a look here at bow three. I can definitely see Anton putting gas on the motorcycle. See? Vroom. AG, I don't see it on that stroke, and the uh, I need to zoom in a little bit more on this video. I see a little bit of turning now, AG, but not too bad, and the and the I cannot <laughs> I cannot see it. And then here, Anton, let's zoom in a little bit. See how like you're here, and like you go room. See how like you like, tap down, you feather with the outside hand. Um, now that we're here in the bow, um, let's also take a look at um, a little bit of the bow four here. Um, so we're rotating towards the side. There's a little bit of like, you know, opening on the body from Gary. The shoulder don't look as bad as other times Gary, but still opening a little bit. Um, AJ, we're going to go back to you in a little bit. Um, D, not too bad. Oh my goodness. Let me close the door. 
Are the cats being naughty? I think they are. Hi. All right. Let's try again. Sorry. Um, tea doesn't look too bad. Um, now that I'm here too, I see Carrie and the kind of like dropping the shoulder, like bow for it, general, like and it's a general thing on everybody kind of dropping the shoulders. Um, so we don't want the shoulder to like go down as we go to the catch. We want the hands to go up, shoulders stay down, and not they don't, we don't let them drop, but we keep them stable. We keep them packed and um, we don't let it just like fall forward, okay? Um, so D, not too bad. I could say probably a little bit of grabbing here. Of, um, so a little bit more connection, a little bit more core engagement would be good, but not bad. Um, and again, our bodies open a little bit um, too much. And let's take a look at Anton here. See how you're dropping the shoulder there. And Anton, see here. Compare your, like, let's let's take a look at AJ. See how AJ's arms are pretty straight. Even Ron's arms are pretty straight. And look how you're grabbing with the arms. That's, um, that's what we see from the launch most of the time. There's a lot of grabbing. There's a lot of um, bending on the arms. So here, right here. See? Um, that becomes quite a, an efficient, and that also has you. We're going to look at the BDS. It can be. It can make the the plate work a little bit off, and then here you can see a good example of feathering with the outside hand. Both kind of like AJ and Anton getting it a little bit. So here, see, grabbing. So we want to keep those arms straight. So we want to keep um, that powerful suspension. Let's take a look here now at this part of the boat. Um, Ron and AJ here, you guys can see the difference on the legs. Um, so see how that like, you as soon as you get here, the legs go down too quick. That's because um, we're not connected with the core. Um, it's kind of inefficient and we rely then on like the upper body just to push. So we will like be good here. And then like, oh, well, the placement looks good, but then like, since we're relying too much on the upper body, the legs are quite inefficient. So we want to feel kind of like the resistance again. We want to make sure that we connect that core, making sure that we lift the boat and we kind of feel like ourselves, like we're going to lift from the seat. Um, and then another thing, general thing, I'm going to zoom it out because... Um, we're not doing a good job with the body overs. Um, we're lacking flexibility. So um, I tomorrow we're gonna talk about stretching. We're gonna talk about this. Look at here, how straight up everybody is. The only one that I think that, D, I can see that he tries with the shoulders a little bit, but I can see like, you know, the effort is there. Anton a little bit and Greg um, the rest of the boat kind of lacking a lot of body over see here how straight up everybody is we should not get more body over after this but since we don't get the body over when we're supposed to get it we just all fall and that's kind of also um, related to the dropping on the shoulder um, let's zoom in on Ron here Ron um, still the knees, let me get another frame. The knees really wide, really wide. Um, we need to close those knees a little bit more. We need to a uh, stronger um, position because opening the knees is causing the upper reach, is causing the dropping on the shoulder, and it's causing, um, oops, wrong video. Where were we? So here you kind of can see like, you know, how the legs go down a little bit and we just go pull. The arms don't look bad, like the suspension looks pretty solid and we're finishing to the chest and then tapping down and feathering with the inward hand, so that's good. It's just that catch here. See how like it looks rounded. It doesn't look like we're using the hips from the body over. See here how straight up we are and how curl and then we let our whole arm, like don't get me wrong, like the arm can go a little between the knees, of course, but not like 
this. So again, I think that Greg does a pretty good job. So let's take a good look at Greg here and Brent. So see here how like the shoulder drops on Brent. And let's take another frame. Here, see how Greg like on stroke seat, come on phone. Keeps like a good posture up. Brian dropping the shoulders a little bit. David too. David has improved a lot on that aspect. So David, good job on that. Um, so here's the thing, right? We still want to sit up nice and tall with the shoulder down. It's possible. Greg is doing it pretty well. David, I don't know if you can see your shoulder going up a little bit. But that's the sit up that we want. This is the position that we want with a shoulder down and a pack lat. It's possible. Trust me, it's possible. <laughs> Um, so yes, let's take a look here. The other thing that I would like to talk about is the rush. See how like quite, let's play it again. How kind of like bow three and a little bit of Giri and Ron. Sometimes like you all get there to catch quite early and you just hang out there. So like it's control, 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 and then bloop. There's no control of the seat in the last part of the recovery. Um, we're rushing. So we need more control. We need a better posture at the catch. We need full compression. Um, again, closing their knees, it can be helpful towards that. But yeah, like, again, as I told you guys, I would rather have you be late than being early and just hanging out and rushing, okay? Um, yeah, you can see it from this perspective, how we just like plip. So after the hands away, body over, we just like throw ourselves towards the catch rather than waiting for us, um, waiting for the catch to come towards you. We're going to go over the stern the other way. I don't have weird stuff on my phone. I just have puppies and rowing. Look at this guy, how pretty. So we're going to go over this really quick. This is on the way back after doing the trail of switch hands. And the good thing about the eight, you guys picked it up really well at the end. Um, too bad I couldn't take video of that. Um, but you know, release. First of all, bodies at the finish look a little bit more straight. Greg, I don't know if you can see your head kind of leaning towards the side. So we want that head to be in the center. AJ, good job there with the rollout. I don't know if you can see here that I can see your head kind of peeking towards starboard and then let's see if you can zoom in a little bit. Remember to put those videos on the high quality on the YouTube settings. That's going to help you guys out. Um, so see how I can see Ron's head actually too. I can see Ron's head and a little bit of David. So we want to be centered here. We're not quite center. And then we're going to our side. So a good example here is Brent. Here's in the center. And then rotates towards the side. Boom. This is towards the center. Rotates towards the side. So yes, I can also see Gary a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of Ron and David. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So be, um, let's keep being a little bit more aware of our body position during the recovery, making sure that we're straight, rotate towards the side. The first part of the drive, you, of course, we're going to rotate a little bit, and then we want to finish um, even on the seat, centered. Um, this entry was not bad. Um, AJ, I'm going to say good job here on the early score up, um, right here, pretty good. we are this was a good one but i think that the tendency of the boat was to like i think that was ports were a little early than starboards um and that's probably why we had some set issues um who is on i think that that's is that david no it's greg it's one i think it is no gary i think that that's gary it's greg brand david Ron. Gary, yeah, so Gary, see how here we kind of like laid at the catch, we kind of like touched up late into before the entry, and then we go in, Greg, 
That was a little bit of touch too. David. Oh my goodness, David. Look at this early square up, David. And run. Wonderful job. I like that. I like to see the early square up. Yes. Not bad, David. We're getting better with our play work. Good job. Um, still the blade a little bit higher of the water, David, but way better than than months ago, than weeks, like probably from last week. So I can tell you watch the videos. Good job. Um, so yeah, see how like there's some blades that are like way too high, the angles look off. That's caused by the over compression. That's caused um, because of like, you know, dropping the shoulder. So the angles should be like supports to a better job, but here like here they're angled and that's actually good um, mm -hmm. and then here brand i believe you could get sometimes a little bit of more tap down that one was a better one but there's some strokes that were lacking a little bit of tap down from the other video it looked like like you know it's good to start small and then go from there. That's actually good. But I think that if you want to add a little bit more, um, we might have from um, This one was actually pretty solid. This one was a little like touching on the water. So again, um, keep playing with that top down because sometimes like we forget to top down all the way and we see how we fell into the water here a little. Um, good job there, Ron, in getting it. Well, a little bit of fell into the water. The uh, AJ and the D doesn't look too bad. AJ a little bit of feathering into the water. And Brian cutting into the water. Let's see it starboard. Um, wait, is that? No, D is on starboard though. That was Anton, Anton feathering into the water. Sorry, guys. Um, D, going a little bit deep here. See how, like, we're going, like, you know, way too deep with, deep with the shaft. Um, and the release. Pretty good. Um, Gary, you see that feathering into the water there quite bad. Gary and D, actually. Um, See, and Greg to a little bit of feathering into the water. David, not bad. Again, um, I know that the right, like the best thing to do is kind of like get the blade out completely in the square, but I would rather have you guys like, you know, if it's three quarters out, then we fed a little bit into the water. I'll take it over like with the whole blade. I'll have the blade into the water and feathering, okay? Um, let's keep working on that again. I know that the boat was not set and it's hard when the boat is not set but there's so many factors here um that can cause the bad set so um be consistent keep yourself accountable and remember we get the set with small hands adjustments not with the body um and remember sitting up even in the seat and scoring up early and we're rowing it in a little bit here, port, so I know you can see. That's that's what I mean when you guys rowing it in. Like the blade is not connected. Starboards, yeah. So, see, David, there you are. Again, the early roll up is there, but we were rolling it in a little bit. We were not backing it in quite, okay? Alrighty, let's stop this.